Hello and welcome to a new R programming webcast. Today I want to show you how to create an interactive pivot table using the R programming language. And we will see how easy it is because we just need one end of code thanks to the great R pivot table R package. Then we will see how to use the different functionalities of this interactive pivot table, such as uh, choosing the different categories, uh, changing the different options. And uh, we see also we have different aggregators on values we can select, for example, here in this this uh, Star Wars data set. And we will conclude by seeing a few CSS on JavaScript codes to uh, fully customize uh, this interactive tool. You can download for free the full script of this tutorial by joining my newsletter on felixanatic.com. And if you want to support me and get uh, this R shiny template, which allows you to create a drop down with the different data sets you want to access and uh, download the pivoted table that you see over here as an Excel or CSV file, you can go on felixanatic.com slash template where you can download this uh, template for only a few dollars. That being said, let's get started. We are in R Studio now. So the first thing we want to do is to install and load the necessary R packages to create the interactive table. And as you can see, all you need to create an interactive table is to run this single line of code. And our pivot table is already produced with our data set. So the dplyr R package I'm loading here is just to access this tower data set that we will use for this tutorial. So as you can see here, it contains 14 different variables with the name of the different Wars character and different information about. So before going to the customization of this tool, I want to show you also how to use the interactivity of this pivot table. By default, all the variable or column names of your own data set are listed here in this first uh, gray box. And if you want to use a pivot table, all you have to do is uh, to choose one of the different uh, variables, select it and drag and drop it here in another uh, gray box. So this is for the rows. And if you want to add another variable in the columns, we will have to add it here in this other gray box. So let's say, for example, the species. So we will put it over here. And now, as you can see, we have our pivot table that is aggregated with the count value. So this will count the number of feminine and masculine characters and uh, null also for the different species. And if you click on this arrow over here for one of your variable, you can filter different categories over here. And you can also select uh, none and select all. So let's select none and search for uh, the human category. And we will also add the droid category. So we have two different categories and then you have to click on apply. You see we have one feminine droid, 26 masculine characters for only nine uh, feminine characters in the Star Wars uh, data set. This interactive table allows you also uh, to change the different uh, views. For example, you can have a heat map or a, a table bar chart. And it allows you also to access uh, different interactive uh, visualizations such as this uh, bar chart over here. Another interest of it is you can uh, change and customize the different aggregators. So here you can take, for example, uh, the median. And if you select a value, for example, the height, now we can see uh, the median height by gender for the human android uh, categories from the species variable. So we see that we have a height which is slightly higher for the masculine Star Wars character than the feminine, same for the droid category. And here the heat map is not so helpful, so we'll just remove it. Note that you can add uh, extra variables, for example, a hair color you can add here also. Let's go back on the count. We'll see that we have uh, around the feminine characters, uh, six that have brown uh, hair color. And for the masculine, it's also the main categories. We have three that are have blonde hair and seven that have black hair. So you can really play with this interactive table and uh, change them over here. Right now that I explain you how to use this uh, pivot table. We will see also how you can uh, customize and predefine the column on the rows that are in the different uh, gray boxes over here. So you can just uh, use the rows on column arguments and put 
here the column names or variable name that you want to define if you want to add a more for example here the gender on let's say you want to add the hair color you can put them in a vector on add hair color for example on close the parentheses you can also predefine the aggregate name so here by default it's count here if you add it as average it will be as average and if you want to define also the value of uh, the average aggregator among the list of the different variables so here we give the example of the height this can be done with, with the vars argument same with the render name so if you want to start not by default with the table but with a heat map we can add heat map over here and we can also uh, using the renderers variable create a list of the only renderers we want to allow the users to choose so using this uh, little javascript code we can call with the html or widgets you can uh, put this uh, line of code with uh, the name of uh, the defined uh, renderer so here table table bar chart on heat map once you put them in a list over here you can give them also customized names so here I just rename them exactly as they are by default but you can change these names and if you run all this code we will get that table that is showed with the default variables that we selected we see we have uh, the default columns and aggregators and values we define here in the uh, arguments and finally, I want to show you also how you can use some CSS code uh, to remove uh, this uh, total column over here. And if I scroll down also the total uh, row over here, which can be sometimes annoying. And you can do that with uh, this line of code over here. So all you have to do is uh, use the HTML uh, widgets and with the style uh, tag, you can select uh, the different class arguments, which are referring to uh, the total uh, rows and columns. And you can change the display to none. So if you run uh, this little code on our uh, pivot table widget, we will see that indeed uh, the total rows has disappeared, uh, same with the uh, total column. Once again, you can uh, download the full R code of this tutorial by joining my newsletter on felixasic.com. And I hope this tutorial was useful. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in another video. Take care. Bye bye.